Hello one and all and welcome to another video. We are here in Goa in this beautiful location where I can see over the entire city of Panjim right here. It's raining so the weather is pleasant. So today I'm not here to talk to you about a review about a bike, a car or some of that thing. But I'm here today to talk to you about the channel Throttle Heads. So I'm going to talk to you about the journey from where it started and where it is today. So all you early subscribers out there would already be knowing about this. So the channel Throttle Heads was started in the year 2017. So it all started with just an idea. So now there are automotive channels in the country and in the world as well. But we had nothing in the state of Goa. So it was an idea uh, that I had of starting something like this in our state of Goa. So I called a couple of friends of mine. I spoke to Mr. Francis Pompadour, as you all must be knowing. And uh, I explained to him the same idea. And he was really, really enthusiastic about this and said, let's do this. So the next thing that came was to search a name. Now that's a really important thing. So we went through a couple of names like uh, Piston Heads, uh, automotive something I can't really recollect all the names but we boiled down to throttle heads and it was a really nice name that we had so uh, once we had the name we created the channel on YouTube as you all know the throttle heads and once we did all that the first thing that came to us was we need to create a first video now how does a new channel in a state that doesn't have something like this do that so it's like entering into something that's a niche so you know it's something out of the box so the first video that we thought of shooting was it happened one sunday when uh, me and francis were out and uh, we decided to make a video on how to drive an automatic and a manual so we did this video on a volkswagen jetta that was uh, a diesel automatic and a devu cielo so yes, automatic manual. So it served the purpose for us and we shot the video. Now this video initially, uh, it, it was our initial day. So we used a point and shoot camera, a phone, and uh, yeah, that's about it. We, we didn't do, use anything else. So we, we went to this place and we shot this video. It was our first video, so it's not there on the channel as well right now because it wasn't the best video. So we had to take that video down, but that was actually our first video. And when we put this first video, we had a couple of views, say around 40, 50 views, and, and that motivated us a bit. Then we decided we have to shoot a review, a car, a bike, or something like that. So we knew these guys down at uh, Volkswagen Modi Auto Corp, and we approached them with uh, to do a shoot. So. Then the Volkswagen Amio was a new car. It was a sub four meter sedan that was launched by Volkswagen. So we asked them whether we could get those cars for a review. So again, we went one Sunday, we, we took out the cars. We had a petrol, manual and a diesel. So we had both the cars with us and we shot our first review. So this was the first time we actually shot a review from the start to the end. And it was a proper review with rolling shots and stuff like that. Now, that video is on the channel. So it's the first video basically. It was out in uh, Feb 2017, if I'm not mistaken. So that was our first video we put up. Um, yes, again, we, for that video, we used point and shoot cameras and phones, basically phones and point and shoot cameras were the only two things that we used. So the quality isn't that great. Uh, audio, again, we used to not use any mics and stuff like that. So audio wasn't the greatest, but that video really got us views. So that was the first time we got, we crossed like 100, 200 views in the same day. And this being our second video on the channel and getting like it, it crossed uh, 100 views within a few hours. Uh, YouTube has a thing wherein they try and scrutinize your views initially. So it happens at 100,000 and 10,000 if you get it in the same within a short period of time. So uh, we hit 100 views and our views are not going up. So we were like, it's already 100 views are still going, but our uh, count is not going up. So I wrote to YouTube, YouTube replied back saying that they were scrutinizing the views and instantly the next day we see we have somewhere around two, three hundred views. 
that motivated us a lot more so that said okay fine so now people like our videos they are watching our videos let's do something more i know that's like minimum views but that was something like that was a really great thing for us being a new channel so uh then came the next video that we had to shoot and that was uh that we did was on the Volkswagen Beetle now a Beetle as you all know is an iconic car it has been here for generations and years and years so we wanted to get the heritage as well as where it has reached today so the we got an vintage beetle as well as we got the 21st century beetle with us so now to get this this was the idea we had to get the car so we we had to speak to a couple of friends and people out there to ask for a beetle so it so happened that uh, one night prior to the shoot that was on saturday because sunday was a shoot saturday we uh, we met these guys at retro restorations uh, lisander and ryan braganza we happened to go to their place at somewhere around 8 9 o'clock in the night and we saw an amazing collection of cars down there from all the folks you know, vintage Volkswagens they had the Beetles they had the Golf they have Impalas they had a lot of cars that they had restored and a lot of cars are, which are theirs as well so we spoke to them about this idea that we had of uh, reviewing the car and they were really really cooperative and helpful that they instantly said yes to us and the next day we shot the beetle so now in the initial days uh, another thing is we didn't really use a uh, editor we used to use window movie maker so that's how we started so editing on that was again it used to take us a lot of time which take us somewhere around 4 weeks 5 weeks depends like it was like it was new we had to learn that first and then you know get to it slowly so it used to take us a lot of time to actually edit one video but uh, as time passed by we definitely got better on that so after the beetle we did the vento now again the vento was a different shoot we got the 1.2 tsi vento and we did a night shoot because we wanted to show the led headlamps led tail lamps and we wanted to do something different that was the first first video trust me guys that got us a really really great amount of views so that video currently has somewhere around 54 55000 views it was a video that really got viral i would say for us especially because that was like our first video that really got views all over the country uh, a lot of likes a lot of uh, you know comments and that was really great for us so once we got that we got really motivated we motivated us even more to do something even better so from then on we started reviewing a lot more cars we shot events and stuff like that we also had a series that was called uh, automotive talk wherein we would uh, speak to you all about uh, some upcoming cars about some cars that we couldn't get a hands on and stuff like that and from then on we started shooting a lot more cars from a lot more different brands as well not only Volkswagen so from then on we went to doing another series which we recently did in uh, this year that is a how to series basically it's a tutorial video series as in to how to use the infotainment system and the instrument cluster so that was our series that we did a couple of months back it really did well a lot of uh, good comments from your guys thank you so much for all of that and this is how our journey of uh, videos has gone so uh, as i said about the editor as well so from windows movie maker we moved to a better editor of course over the period of time and from then on uh, things have been different so the whole journey from the start to the end has been a whole learning experience for all of us guys out here uh, it was it it wasn't uh, um, it wasn't uh, a piece of cake i must say from starting something that was uh, a niche basically thinking out of the box to you know till today so yes now uh, there have been a lot of uh, more channels as well out there and uh, all of us work together as a community so if i have mentioned some of them is auto goa which has been rebranded to automotive pistons run by hercules rodriguez then we have uh, downshift that is run by uh, mithilesh uh, then we also have um, auto shots that is run by shreyas so a lot of uh, 
people out there right now in this community and we all work together so that is what makes this entire automotive community in goa so uh from there i would also uh, like to thank all the dealers as well out there who have supported us from the start that was vw goa to uh VW Goa that is Modi Auto Corp then we have uh, Priority Skoda we have Priority MG we have Counter Motors Mercedes Bavaria BMW we have um, MVR Audi MVR Jeep we have uh, Jeep Quadros Motors as well then uh, we have uh, Yamaha that is Z Motors Yamaha we have also supported us we have uh, Goa Hyundai as well we have Coastal Honda as well and uh, Sharayu Toyota as well and a couple of other dealers out there who have helped us and um, supported us throughout this journey so a huge huge thanks to all you guys out there uh, it really means a lot to us and um, because of you all again we could achieve what we have today from there i would like to thank my team at team protelids all of you who have supported us from the start till today so i'd like to take all their names we have francis pompadour varun rai dev choudhury harry we also have uh, sarvesh mehta ralston menezes and our uh, dop mr dattaraj bodke and all you other guys who have helped us out throughout this journey as well who have come into videos and stuff like that so i would like to give you a huge shout out and thank you for everything that you have done for us now throughout this journey we have faced uh, a lot of challenges there were a lot of ups downs but through all this we have met a lot of people we have made a lot of friends as well and we have achieved and overcome these challenges together as a team and this is what makes life so interesting So all you guys out there if you're really passionate about something I would say just go and do it put in all your hard work dedication and you'll definitely get there with that guys I wrap up today's video thank you so much for watching the video all you guys out there who haven't subscribed to our channel do subscribe to our channel as well a lot of you guys out there are watching our videos but I think you kind of forget to subscribe so do subscribe guys and uh, do share our video as well if you like our videos See you next video.